In this film, we're gonna show you some ways to draft proof your windows. If you have casement windows, you can fix self-adhesive draft excluder strips to the inside of the frame. There are different types available, including P and E profile seals. They come in different thicknesses, colors, and quality. So make sure you choose the right seal for your job. P and E seals can be used for both windows and doors. Draft excluders must be fitted in the correct position in the frame rebate as shown. If you're using a P section draft excluder, ensure that you fix the strip so that the P is in the direction stated in the manufacturer's instructions. To fit a rubber draft excluder, make sure all the surfaces are clean and dry. If necessary, rub the surfaces down with white spirit. Take a single strip of draft excluder long enough for the side of the window frame and peel off the backing paper to expose the adhesive. Press the exposed section of the adhesive against the frame so that the draft excluder sticks to the frame. Continue to peel off the backing paper, sticking small sections as you go. Continue until the whole strip is stuck in place. Make sure you don't stretch the draft excluder while you are fitting it, as this may impair its efficiency. Repeat this for the other side and the top and bottom of the frame. And that's it, one draft proof window. If you have UPVC windows and your seal needs replacing, you can buy a rubber replacement seal that you push in. For additional winter insulation, you can fit this handy temporary double glazing and it's easy to do. First things first, make sure the window and the surround is clean. Then take the measurements of the window frame. Unroll the double glazing and transfer the measurements onto the film. Make sure you add at least 10 centimeters extra so you can cut to fit later on. Cut the film with some scissors and then fix it to the frame using the tape provided. Wrap the film round a broom handle and use it to help keep the film from bunching up when applying it to the window. Just start at the top and unroll a small section at a time as you move down the window, sticking as you go. Use a hairdryer to shrink the film to perfectly fit the frame. Once this is done, cut off any excess with a craft knife. And that's it. If you want to see how to draft proof your doors, then watch part one of this film if you haven't already. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.